Hello artists, it is time to prep the last of our materials. So we learned how to sharpen our charcoal and our Conte, and we learned how to work with our erasers, and now we're gonna start using everything. So um, we are going to also uh, want to sharpen our blending stumps and our pencil. So this seems like you just wanna use it like this, but our blending stump is going to look like this because we want to be able to shade with it and blend with it. And, and these little corners that you're seeing on here, they'll catch on the paper and they'll leave weird marks. This gives you a nice smooth blend. And you want one side that's kind of blunt to get in there for details and one side that's really nice and, and uh, wide. And then on the pencils, this is okay to draw with, but this is better because now I can draw with the tip of the pencil or I can shade with the side of the pencil. So let's talk about that. So now what we're gonna need before when we did our, when we uh, sharpened our charcoal and Conte, we used this blade, but now we're gonna use a safety blade. And so what you're gonna need is a brand new safety blade because these blending stumps, um, they are, what they're actually made of is rolled up newsprint. So this paper here rolled up super tightly makes the blending stumps. And this particular uh, blade is too thick and it'll just tear it up. So we're gonna use our safety blade. So this is a brand new one. So I'm opening it and I leave this on here because I know that now it's not gonna be new anymore. So here's what we wanna do. We wanna make a long side and a blunt side. And so I'm gonna, we did this a little bit uh, when we sharpen our charcoal with the other blade, I'm gonna hold it between my thumb and my index finger and I'm gonna tilt it just a little. So I'm going like this and I'm not gonna go like this. What I wanna do is I'm gonna do a diagonal motion like this and you're gonna see that it, nice, it comes off nice and easy. So notice I'm going like this, I'm not going like this. So you wanna do this nice diagonal motion. You wanna get rid of that uh, corner and we're gonna go back about a third of the way kind of like our charcoal about a third of the way back and now I got to continue to get rid of that corner because it's following all the way up now so I just keep with it Now I'm starting to end up with a long cone. So now we have something like this. That isn't smooth like this. You can see that it has facets on it, so it's too rough. So what we're gonna do now is sand that. And there's two things you can do. You can eat, if you have this kind of sandpaper, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go like this. You're just gonna pull it back and turn it, pull it back and turn it. That takes a while. So if you have just a piece of your uh, household sandpaper, what I like to do is this. I'm gonna crunch this around it like so, and I'm just gonna do this to really rough it up first. Don't worry that it looks like this. That's perfectly okay. It's kind of what you want. You want it just to get all roughed up. And now, when I pull it back like that. I'm pulling and turning, pulling and turning. It's much, much easier to get, uh, to get smooth quicker. So if you just have these little guys, you can just start off doing this and it just ends up taking a little bit longer. So you can see a little of the newsprint kind of comes up. It's not a big deal. And just kind of sand that away and just kind of feel it to see if it's nice and smooth take a minute or two to do it no big deal and so this is nice it's ready up oh, see a little bit more if I see little facets I just try and smooth them out So this looks pretty good. I'll be able to smooth out. So this is my long side. So I, I try and use the biggest blending stump I can, but if you have a smaller one, this is, this is fine. And now I want a, a side that's a little more blunt. So instead of going a third of the way back, I'm just gonna get rid of that corner. So again, here's how I'm holding it. 
So you gotta practice this for a little bit, how to hold it, you're just grabbing it like this. And just taking off that corner, again, not like this, kind of a diagonal motion, makes it come off really easy. And what I want to do now is I want to just take the end off as well. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rough it up. And then Pull it, and this time I'm going to kind of go like this while I'm pulling so it rounds the end a little. So pull and turn. Close, I'm liking it. We're pretty good. So now we have one long end and one blunt end. This one looks like I never did take the end off, so I can always come back and do that even to the big one and then just round it out. So whether you have a large blending stump or a smaller one, I usually like to have the largest one I can because we're working on pieces of paper that are this size. Um, so here we go, one long end, one blunt end. And so now your razor blade can never the razor blade is now too, uh, too dull to do more of these. It usually can just do one, but we can still use it. So now we want to use this razor blade for the pencil. Again, this big guy is too heavy and it'll damage the pencil. And I want to get a long lead. So what I have to do, or a long piece of charcoal, I've got to get rid of this wood. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hold the pencil like this and I'm gonna hold the razor blade the same way and I'm gonna guide it with my thumb and I'm just gonna start scooping out. So I'm gonna real carefully just come through and start scooping the wood out. And I can turn it and scoop it. Now every now and then, if you do it too hard, you'll break it. And every now and then you'll find that even if you're super careful, it'll break and it'll break a couple times like over and over. That means that either you dropped it on the floor or if it's brand new and you didn't, uh, that means that the store did or the loading company or somewhere along the way they got dropped. So you can take that back to the art store and uh, trade it out for a new one. So very carefully, we're just going around and shaving the wood away from the charcoal inside. Use this thumb to guide you. And be real patient. If you uh, If you see little pieces like this, you can kind of just, we'll just shave those off. Um, and then we're gonna make this into a cone in just a little bit. So again, real slowly and carefully, just going through, shaving little pieces off all the way around. And uh, I really like to use these pencils uh, when we start doing detail work. So especially for things like portraits or if we're doing figure and there's, you know, I want to do some hatching or something that is a little more detailed than even the sharpest part of my charcoal can do, that's where the pencil's really nice to use. So I'm just doing this on these little, little bits that are up here. And you can see that we're slowly working our way back.
seeing about a little bit further. Let's go back just a little bit further. We're getting close. Just a little bit further. And you can decide, you know, some people really like to go back far. Makes you work really delicately. Other people will just use that pencil out of the box. However, what happens then is that uh, you can't shade with it very well. You can draw with it. You can hatch with it. But you can't put a shade down. So we're pretty close here. So let's get this last little bit off. And now we want to make it into a cone. So I'm going to do something very similar to what I did with my extra off here. Um, something real similar to what we do with our charcoal in that we're going to hold it like this and I'm just going to real lightly spin it because there was a little corner at the end you know where they originally where the wood originally ended so we want to get rid of that. So I'm doing the same thing I'm just that we did with our charcoal. I'm just spinning and kind of shaving it down. And then finally, what I can do is take either my, either one of these sandpapers, so I'll show you with both, and I'm just gonna spin it and rub it back and forth so that it sands it really nicely into the cone. So if you're just using regular old sandpaper, which is what I usually use, just hold it kind of putting it in between my two fingers, it makes a nice little place for it. I'm just trying to get a smooth cone to happen. So that I can do this and I can shade with it, oops, shade with it as well. So this looks pretty good. See one last little corner on it. Okay, so we want our pencils to look like this. We want our blending stumps to look like this. Remember that you need a brand new safety blade. You take the, you take the uh, protective cover off. You start using it with your blending stumps. And when you're done sharpening your blending stump, then you can use it for pencils afterwards. So you can use it to sharpen one blending stump. And then after that, you can use it to sharpen quite a few pencils and then you can tell when it when it's too dull to use because it doesn't work very well anymore. So now we have everything that we need to uh, to get going um, and we will uh, start working on some long term pieces.